Elders of the Land, and paying respects to Elders past and present. And I don't know about being distinguished, Stephen, I'm, I'm just a guest here tonight, not a distinguished guest, but thanks, thanks for your welcome, and thanks also to Jan Wapali, uh, our Economic Development Coordinator at the City of Ryde. Jan does a great job uh, in uh, working with businesses here at Macquarie Park and small businesses across the city. And you may wonder why a council would take such an active role uh, in, in promoting events like this and holding events like this because we see as a council the importance of small business and large business in our community. From a planning perspective, it keeps people out of cars, it forms community locally, uh, you work and you live together. In fact, one of our uh, taglines is uh, lifestyle and opportunity at your doorstep and we really believe that. That's why we uh, have uh, someone as great as Jan that works for us and that's why we're also part of uh, key community and business groups here uh, across the City of Ryde. Of course there's the Macquarie Park Innovation District uh, which City of Ryde is one of the founding members. Uh, we also operate uh, the um, uh, Macquarie Park Forum uh, which meets regularly and the Economic Development and Advisory Committee. Uh, we see the value of having uh, well paid jobs and high skilled jobs here in the City of Ryde and we're very fortunate to have such a great district here in Macquarie Park. We're very fortunate to have the University uh, the connections with public transport and of course the two tastes that we've got here. We want to make sure that um, our community and our business community uh, can work together and uh, I'd like to thank you all for coming here today and thank you all uh, to our event sponsors, particularly Optus, who always seem to provide us uh, with uh, a great venue. Um, I have some experience in small business. Uh, my father started a business way back in 1987. Uh, we manufacture and import hairdressing products, so I'm sorry if my hair is not up to standard. <laughs> uh, and I grew up in that small business. Um, I remember going there uh, every weekend, uh, and even after school, about 3.30, 4 o'clock, my parents would leave work, come pick me up, and then I'd go and, and spend some time in the business. Uh, and, you know, when we were short staffed, I'd often spend a couple of hours behind the till. They didn't pay me. Can you believe it? They didn't pay me. But anyway, I understand what you guys are going through. Um, I saw my family uh, risk a lot to start a business, and I saw how they worked incredibly hard uh, to, to make it successful. But now, uh, somehow, I've ended up uh, uh, running the business. We've got about 15 staff, and I know the challenge that each and every one of you face. Uh, every day. I somehow find the time to uh, either run that or be mayor, depending on the, the, um, the challenges of the day. But uh, I, you know, I'd like to applaud each and every one of you for stepping out of your business or stepping out of your startup and taking time to, I guess, learn about how you can make your businesses better. One of the hardest things about running a business is stepping back and learning and looking from above. And each and every one of you, by being here today, have done that. And that's a really important step. Uh, for the growth of your business. So uh, again, thank you to our sponsors. Uh, uh, thank you for coming and we'll continue supporting uh, small business startups, innovators and big business here in the city of Rome. Thank you.